I won two gold medals with everything that went on in my life. Every mental health problem, every setback, everything that I was screaming and shouting about, yet I still become double interpreting. Hi, my name is Hannah. I'm a personal trainer for Nuffield Health. And today I am talking to none other than Dame Kelly Holmes. I'm a little bit excited about it. So if you could, just if there is a random person on this planet that doesn't know who you are, could you just give us like a brief background on how you started your journey to kind of like how you got to here? I mean, there's a lot. There is a lot. I'm not sure how it. brief this will be. Started running when I was uh, 12 at school was inspired by the Olympic Games at the age of 14, which created like a dream to be Olympic champion. Was in the army as a physical training instructor, got lots of soldiers, then became a world-class athlete, won two gold medals at Olympic Games in 2004, like you do. Cash. Uh, and then since then, fitness has very much changed for me. You know, as you get older, uh, you do it for different reasons. Um, I'm still competitive in myself. I still want to be fit, but have challenges like everyone else. I had burnout, professional burnout, because I put everything into working because it stopped this constant narrative in my head of the need to shout and to have freedom. That put stresses on my body. The impact of that has caused me health problems. And so it's not good to not be able to express how you feel or have the opportunity to talk, no matter what that is. My first thing really is that I needed a talk and I, I managed to find a psychologist that worked for me, you know, and I do believe in talking to people. I believe we all have someone we can talk to in our lives, a friend, a family a member, a colleague. But if it's a professional person, find the, the right person. I managed to do that. That allowed me to then get everything out, you know, like, <laughs> say it all, I don't care. And um, I was very fortunate that I have a really supportive family, always have, so that's a good thing for me. Obviously, we were talking about a lot about the mental health side of sports mm. as well, and I don't think people realise how important it is to have what I like to call, like, your tribe around you. Yeah. And mm. it doesn't necessarily need to be a sports team, it could be people, it could be a coach that you met through that sport. In terms of sport, a lot of people like to do something team orientated because it gives you that motivation. A lot of times, some people put off a sport because they think, oh, I can't do it and everyone's better than me. But my answer to that is someone always starts from scratch. Like I started being a club athlete. I wasn't an Olympian the moment yep. I dreamed it. So you start from somewhere. It's the same as fitness. So I like going into classes because if I'm having a day where it's like, can't think what I want to do, can't motivate it. Going in the class, even if you go at the back of the class, you watch everybody else, you realise you're not the only one that doesn't know everything, isn't coordinated, can't pick it up. But suddenly you're just so engrossed in the moment of exercise, you forget the class finishes, you feel so much better. So for me, it's about um, doing things that I enjoy. I love hits, I love core, I love going on a bike sometimes in a gym and actually forgetting that I'm in there, not pushing to get a, a certain time, not pushing to run fast. I go out just to make me feel good. So I have a sort of multitude of things that keep me focused on my fitness. I don't just do one. To be honest, the sport saved me because if I didn't have my athletics, then what did I have? It gave me purpose, gave me focus. It gave me the ability to still feel good about something. And ultimately, for me, it gave me goals and dreams and it became the biggest thing that I ever had, you know. I won two gold medals with everything that went on in my life. Every mental health problem, every setback, everything that I was screaming and shouting about, yet I still become double interpreting. And the message there is that we are strong. Like, we are so resilient as human beings. It's just having that mindset to believe you can still and push through things because you can achieve anything, really.